Okay, so after a few weeks that I have been working little by little on these blend shapes, I have something that is good to go and we will continue with the workshop. So basically what I did is first just make one step back and I went over all the custom steps that we did until now. I, I just brush up a little bit the skin um, pain weights and things. So it's a little better now. So the reason because I did it is because for these videos, I try to go always very fast. So it's not getting too long, even it's always long videos, but I, I try to do, to do it fast. So it's not perfect. And I'm because this, this like fast pace, and also for the blend shapes, it's the same thing. So the blend shapes need some time to, to make it better. And this is not, I mean, what I'm going to show you now, it's not um, uh, the best thing I, I, we can get. It's just something it's, I guess it's good enough to continue. So basically I just went back and redo all the, the blend shapes and finish the part that we didn't uh, did on the, on the last video. So first let's see what I have here. So I have here, just let me extend here on the uh, shapes plugin. I have the, um, the blend shapes that we started. So I have the range of motion here that we did in the last video or in the last, uh, some of the last videos. And I have this corrective blend shape. So just let me reload this. Okay. And okay, well, one second, this is load oops looks like shapes doesn't like okay let me okay now sorry i just reopened the scenes and the reason because didn't like when i try to execute again okay so um i have the blend shapes that each blend shape i did model on the same pose so here is the white so i model this one and went to the next one so this is an arrow and I model this one. Just let me put this one here. You can see here we have the, um, oops. Now here, this one, it's the, the slide mount that is connected. And I will show you later what I did here because I changed a little bit the custom step, but you know, this was already in the plan. So don't worry for that. Okay, so basically, I did everything here and I just want to move forward up to the combo. So I put here combo like really big. So this is our, our base and we can think also our base. It's also the open and open neck. This can go together, but I show you why I did this one. So what is the, the open? So basically here, when I open, I did first the, the open mouth that only affects the, the mouth area the lips area so it's this one here and you can see i pinch it a little and here is something maybe this is another uh discussion like in our direction how do you want to do these things and there is like this disney or pixar school where obviously you 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 pinch your mouth when you open you have some certain pinch so how how much you pinch or it's it's more like style i will say it's not all i mean it, it's open to discussion this thing so and i pinch it a little here on the regular one but just a little so this if you go like more disney style probably will be more pinch here and if you go like let's say the other side that it's the, um uh like like ghibli ghibli style you will have or anime style will have more round style here so it's always open to debate and yeah, it's always something that um, I, I put a lot of thought on that, how, how you, you have the shape of your mouth, more realistic or more like cartoony or if it's looking good for this design of, or if not. So here I'm doing something that it's um, halfway between realistic quotes there and very cartoony. You will see at the end, I, I, I went very crazy in some of the, the last uh, poses. And it's funny because I say this is like Disney Pixar-ish style. I saw, I think it's Disney Pixar, one of the latest movies. It's like about the red panda. Uh, I don't know. It's it's like a lit. I, I saw it on the internet. I, I don't know where. And they did like really round <laughs> mouth. So you cannot say always like it's this style because you see even these studios, they change the style depending on the, what they want. Anyway, so 
I have this pinch and then I this this next. So many people forget this here. When you open, I mean, you have this like area here that needs to be corrected a little bit. So it's, it's far from a good, but you can see here it's, it looks much better than just leave it like that. So when you open your mouth, uh, you have this, and if you put it like this, you have this all this this uh, flesh here that push. So where is your jaw? It needs to be. I mean, it's pushed by your jaw here. Okay, so I have this that, and again, it's far from perfect. And if you good modeler, probably you're gonna laugh on me. But yeah, okay, so that's what I did here, and then the rest are combos. So means each of the the rest ones will be a combination uh, from this base plus this one. Means that I do like white smile and then combo. So I I correct that part. And that is, for instance, if I go here, go, okay, this is my smile white. So let me deactivate the open mouth corrections because we don't want this one, but we will have something like the white. So it does this. We will have this smile that corrects this because it's triggered there. And well, later we will have the white smile combo that will correct there. And again, it's far from nice thing, but it's, I mean, it's working enough. I, I think this game is, uh, I was checking some reference also, that's something important. When I did the first videos, I didn't check too much reference. And here I just went on internet and tried to, to search for some reference. In this case, I, I searched for uh, lean people that does like a very, uh, like athletic lean people that they have very, uh, or not too much uh, fat on the face. So it's very thin the skin and I thought this character is a very young character and does have this feeling so this is very very thin here and again I'm I'm not the best modeler in the world so probably can be much better here you can see here this correction it adds a lot okay so I have this one and you you can get this course on the gun road pack so you can check it by yourself um so I have all this just let me deactivate because of course this must become on the combination of these ones and then I want this I think it's this here this is the extreme like what I call extreme so this is gonna be the combination of everything together so I have the white I have um, so this is a white then I have the open and neck also here so I have this and then I have mouth open white combination and then I have the or is extremes I have the open extreme and the neck combo so this is probably too extreme what you're gonna hit <laughs> but you can see I went here very round here and very crazy um let me check uh, open white now it's not white smile while the stream Yeah, so yeah, it's about that. And I think uh, white smell open white open smell smile smell. Well, I hope I didn't open white smile and smile. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so let's connect everything and let's see how it works together. Okay, so first thing I'm just gonna disconnect everything. This one is the latest one. This is always connect. We don't trigger uh, this one on this uh, plane shape uh, on this setup, but let's go one by one. So it's just 10 minutes uh, to here. So, well, I'm just gonna explain you a couple of things before. I have just the loads here. And I'm gonna cut this video here. I'm gonna connect in the next one because I think it's gonna be better. So two things here. Um, I've been using the DPK tool to smooth out the blend shapes. So remember, it's in uh, other videos that you have this tool. So I use this tool quite a lot to do this. It's the first one. And the other thing I did is when I was modeling, so for instance, I'm just gonna model this one. 
and edit here so you can see when the the tool can isolate the shapes it will isolate this for you and normally what i do here is i remove the the isolate so i, I have the rest of the objects also visible it's very special um, especially it's very uh, important for uh, to keep track of your teeth when you're modeling like around the lips and stuff because you want to avoid these intersections and the gaps and things like that the other thing is here on just let me make this bigger because we whoops we're losing here this little gear icon here uh when we sculpt um i think it's in global uh yeah how to add uh no where is this oh nice um so wave mesh oh yeah here sorry this is the use default material so i i have this unchecked so if you you have this will create and it, this is by default it will create a gray material but here um because i want to see the textures i just keep it uncheck it and what i do is i have this other plugin here i will point where you can download this and this is to create matcap so if you are used, uh, familiar with um, other software like zbrush or um matbox or even i think blender also does uh matcaps but in maya by default you don't have it and that's a pity because when you sculpt in it's very important to keep track of your volumes in here this is super flat i mean this is awful and the default shader didn't doesn't help either so what you want to do is to have this um matcaps and i have here a few matcaps so basically um you select this and assign the, ma the material here so i have this and i can change now different matcaps you see and this list is something i i just selected from my resources i have a few i will point it later on the on the video where you can get this and it's much better when you're modeling the other thing i do is i have a hot key that when i have this selected my whole hot key is control 2 but you can put anything i will also add this on the on the load so basically you can have the um, sculpting you can see but without the the shading part so uh with the without the wireframe so this is very useful so you can see it or not it's it's a pity also maya does if you go for the um yeah new sculpt tool sorry uh just let me skip this tool for a moment you have this wireframe that is a bit dim here and it's easier to sculpt with the wireframe but here it doesn't um if you have the regular tool like the the one that comes with um shapes it doesn't work the other thing is as you see when i started the the other tool that is the the default um maya new sculpting tool not the artisan one the, the artisan one is the, um sorry this one so that it doesn't work with the matcap so you can see here when i activate it i'm gonna use my hotkey but when i activate um sorry that tool it went a little um yeah there you see so it's it's like you cannot see it and it depends how how you have it I, in oops in some of the tools this it doesn't work anymore so it's like this gray shell and before i it was a glitch or something and even didn't show these these lines here so you have these these lines like this so you can see it like completely um invisible i recall if i change my background color you can see better now here the silhouette at yeah, maybe with this gray I, I like to have this uh light one so you can see it's um it's not ideal to have this combination so you bear that in mind which tool are you using and again just i'm just gonna exit the tool here i'm just gonna delete this one i don't need it so this is the other tools i use quite a lot when i was modeling to have better perception of what i'm doing while i'm modeling okay so 
that's it for this video like to recap and to see where we are on the uh, plane shapes for the mouth and in the next video we will connect everything together okay see you in the next one bye